When do you ever have the opportunity to meet 53 people from 40 different countries and they're all in one spot? In the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Act of 1978, uh, the U.S. government made a commitment to the IAEA uh, to provide training to all the member states uh, in the areas of fiscal protection of nuclear materials and facilities. So in, the in 1978, the first ITC was conducted, and this course is being conducted every 18 months. It is a perfect opportunity to have all of the member states understand the principles, the concepts, and the recommended requirements coming from NSS 13, which is the Nuclear Security Series uh, 13, IMCERT 225 Revision 5, which is the fiscal protection of nuclear materials and nuclear facilities. So when the people are here for three weeks, we actually take them through the entire guidance document. And then now they have that true understanding of what is inside the document and how these principles and concepts can be applied at their nuclear facilities for their countries. So the engineered approach to physical protection starts with detection. If somebody is trying to gain access to your facility, you want to be able to detect them as early as possible so that you know someone's there. The interesting thing about detection is looking at also things like assessment. If you get an alarm, you don't necessarily know you have a detection unless you can make that assessment. We look at things like delay as well. After you make detection, you are trying to delay the adversary as much as possible so that the response force can get there on time. Response is having enough trained personnel to respond to a security incident, whether it be theft or sabotage of the nuclear material or facility. Having enough of them to be able to give you a high probability of interruption and neutralization. You look at all three of these to evaluate the effectiveness of your system by getting a probability of interruption, taking into account detection, delay, and your response time, how long it takes for them to actually get there and interrupt the adversary. One of the, the changes that we made for this ITC 27 was to have probably about half of the course take place in the field. We, we hope that it was, it was a much more beneficial learning experience for the students to get to, to really put their hands on things and walk around and actually do performance tests on different sensors and cameras and on all those little different types of technologies that they'll have to do when they go back in their own home country. So. My role is to guide them through the exercises and help fill in the gaps from the lectures that, you know, some of the items that they didn't understand and then guide them through the exercises because there's a lot of practical, hands-on training. It's very heavy on the exercise part because we want to emphasize that understanding the information, the best way to learn it is through actually doing it. Their backgrounds, they, they come from different facilities. Some of them are operators, some of them are regulators. We have some technical, very technical people like nuclear engineers, chemical engineers, but we also have some non-technical people that are more on the security side. So we have a, a good range, which is great for the exercises because they complement each other. So it's a classroom, then it's an exercise, then you go to the field to see and compare. I think it's a very unique, very unique experience because you compare, you correlate things, you challenge each other. So I think this is the most unique things in this course. Um, back there when I had a training on nuclear security, it's always, you know, reading about, um, especially like the hypothetical facility, we just read it. And, but here, I got to see it. I got to see the, this um, thought wire, this uh, infrared sensors, this microwave sensor. So I appreciate the quality of the content, the well-structured uh, presentations, and the expertise also of our lecturers. It's really brilliant. It's just as valuable listening to them of understanding of the types of topics that they have interest in and the issues and the concerns, you know, the challenges uh, that they face for their facility so uh, we can all 
learn from their experience as well.